Hi friends, this is Jyotsna from kaonlines.com. In this session, I would like to discuss about the topic in focus compression. Now I have completed, uh, this is my navigation is transaction data loading from class file to InfoQ and I had completed the data modeling and data loading and data and the reporting uh, but without compression and now I am going to compress the data. Before that let me log on to my SAP system, log on. Select log on. Give the credentials. Select continue with this log on. Now select again the info provider that is RSA 11. Now select your queue SIC underscore IC. Select manage. Now select manage. Select the contents. Select the field selection for output. One second. Display the contents. Let me check the request. Yes. I didn't select the request. Select, select. Display contents. Field selection for output. Customer ID, product ID, calendar day, currency, units of measures, and the key figures. Senior product quantity, etc. Select execute. Execute. Observe the data. Okay. Now reschedule the DTP means reload the DTP. Select double click on DTP. Select double click on DTP. Okay. Select execute push button reloading or re-executing the request generated by DTP will now be processed do you want to display the request monitor yes ok select the status is green select the administrative data target observe this two request IDs are maintained and two are available for reporting ok now see here compression status in info queue is not maintained compression status of aggregate is not maintained number of the records transferred is 12 and the added is also 12 for both the request 15158 and 15133 ok now select the queue and uh, select the display contents. Field selection for output for this request also. Select the required field, select execute. Observe this. Here, see here, two records are maintained C1, C1 with different request ID. Observe this, this is the total. Select the total. I select this column, select total. See here. Okay, summation of this. And observe the data. Is not summarized for all requests into a single request. See here. Even this also. Summarize. See here. For each request, it is not summarized. All the requests data into single one. See here it's maintained as C1, C1, C2, C2, like this. Okay. Now the OLAP processor or the we 
reporting event for reporting engine summarizes duplicate records of all requests in a single unit. If you have hundreds of requests, then OLAP processor consumes more than more time to summarize or aggregate the data. Means to improve the performance of the info queue, we use compression or OLAP as the one of the technique. Now let me go with the this is before compression. Okay, even I'll check one more thing. I'll do one more thing. It's not uh, it's not compromised. I mean compressed right now. So let me check this. Select in F factor means uncompressed factor. The data will be still here. If it is still here, means it is not compressed. One of the way to check the check there is there in the request compression of aggregates and compression status. And another way is this one. See here, here we are finding the values. And let me check the compressed fact tables also. That is E, E S I C. Here you won't find any data. Why? Because cube is not yet compressed. See here, number of entries zero. Execute, no table found. Means compression is not there. Now I will compress the info cube. Now we are going to the main topic that is compression of info queue. Compression of info queue. Okay, this is my navigation. I had checked before the compression, the fact table and the uh, fact table. And that is a fact table, that is uncompressed fact table, and e fact table, that is compressed fact table. The data is not existing in the e fact table. Now we will go to the compress of info queue. Compress of info queue or collapse of info queue. Okay? Compress or collapse of the Info queue. Now go to the SAP screen. This is the SAP screen. Go to the RS11 info provider. Now select your queue. Manage context menu. Manage. Select the request to tag. Select the request ID. These are the request ID. This is 503. Okay. Now select the collapse or compress. Now here you will find the compression of info cube standard info cube for compression that is SIC underscore IC. This is my technical name. This is my description. Now I will give the request ID. Let me take my request ID first. This is my request ID. Select to collapse. Okay. Even here it is there. One. 5158 is my uh, present request. Okay, this is my request ID. BI underscore com. This is my request ID. This is the request ID. Select here release. See here compress is also complete. Select on the release push button. Compression info queue SIC underscore IC from request ID 002. I mean, these zeros to request ID up to 151158. Okay, this is my request ID. Up to here it was uh, done. Okay, select refresh. Okay, complete it. Check the job log or compression log. See here, collapse. Finished successfully. Now continue. Close it. And this is my display external batch job. That is the job status. 